This is a tutorial video on how to use the Site Explorer inside Search Atlas. It's right here. You first land on the project's list page. Here you can enter the domain you want to analyze. You can also set this to look at a specific page or a subdomain or obviously the root domain. You can also add sites in bulk. So you can type in multiple domains here. You can import them from a file. You can select the country. You can select domain, subdomain, target page. And you can indicate whether you'd like to save that report as a project in the future. In this example, we're going to take Shutterfly. So we're going to take the domain, plug that in here, location United States, domain level analysis. And we're going to go ahead and hit search. You are then going to land on a page that looks like this. At first, you're going to see top level metrics on the site. So you'll see the domain rating as reported by Ahrefs. You'll see the SEMrush site authority score down here as well. Please note that this is not Moz's domain authority. This is SEMrush's site authority. And the metric right above it is Ahrefs domain rating. Here we see the count of unique backlinks pointing to the site, and right below it we see the count of unique referring domains providing those backlinks, average visits on a daily basis, total number of organic keywords associated with the site, the number of keywords within the top three positions of search, average monthly traffic value from organic search, total amount of paid keywords, total amount of paid traffic. Now here we have a distribution of traffic by country, so we can see where that traffic is coming from. We have some charts up here, so we're tracking organic keywords and how that's changing over time. That's going to be the blue line. We have organic traffic and how that's changed over time. We have the paid keyword strategy over time and the paid traffic over time. These charts are all dynamic, so you can simply click on them and evaluate the performance. Here we have a list of the SERP features. So what types of search results is this site being featured in? Here we have knowledge panel, we have featured videos, rich snippet results, image packs, video carousel, people also ask questions, FAQs, local pack, so on and so forth, right? Image pack, site links, etc. Here we have a chart that shows the organic position history and distribution over time. Top three, four to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 50, 51 to 100. And as you hover over the bars, you kind of see how the composition of their rankings changes over time. These are also dynamic. So if you just wanted to look at page one keywords over time, you can simply deselect the other keywords. If you wanna see how many keywords are within striking distance on page two, can simply select that. Here, under organic research, we're displaying the organic position distribution. So how many keywords exist in positions 1 to 3, in positions 4 to 10, in positions 11 through 20, so on and so forth. We also have the full keyword report here that you can click into. We're demonstrating the search intent of the keyword, the position the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, and the traffic coming from that query. Here we have a view of the organic competitors, and we're trying to see market dominance here. Who's the biggest site within this industry in relation to the competitors that have shared organic keywords? We show you how many common keywords are here. Down here, we have keywords clustered by search intent. So of all of the keywords that the site is ranking for, which ones are commercial, which ones are informational, which ones are transactional, which ones are navigational, and how much traffic do each one of those clusters represent. This chart demonstrates the split between branded traffic and non-branded traffic. Branded traffic would be, in this case, keywords containing Shutterfly or some variation of the company name. Non-branded would be, as the name implies, brand agnostic keywords such as custom coffee mugs. Here we're looking at the PPC distribution. So what keywords 
are they bidding on in paid search? Where do those keywords appear at the top of the page? Position one, two, or three, bottom of the page four through nine, so on and so forth, as well as what are the keywords they're bidding on? And we can view all those keywords here as well. Similar to the chart above, we're looking at the paid competitors, who's spending the most, how many keywords do we have in common, things like that. Down here, we're seeing some of the most recent ads that Shutterfly is running. And down here, we have a summary or an executive summary rather of the backlink profile, where we're looking at the historical links over time, the types of links, do follow versus no follow, snapshot of the most recent links, anchor text distribution, all unique referring domains, all index pages. Now for each one of these reports, you can get much more granular. So for example, if you hit keywords, you can see all of the keywords that the site is ranking for organically. You'll see the same chart from the previous screen. You can adjust the date ranges here. And down here, you can look up historical performance. So you can compare back to previous months and look at the deltas and the positions. You can search for specific keywords. You can search for keywords by intent, by position, by traffic, by search volume, by cost per click, as well as a few other metrics such as keyword difficulty, URLs, or SERP features. Up here, you can toggle and you can now look at the paid keywords. So what are the keywords they're bidding on? Where does that ad appear? The search volume, the cost per click, the difficulty, the paid competition, the URL, the traffic, the cost, and the search results. If you click on pages, you can see a list of all of the organic pages. You can see how much traffic is going to each page, how many organic keywords are associated with each page, if there are any ads running to that page, and you can also view the backlinks going to that specific page if you click show over here. Each one of these are clickable, so if you click into organic keywords or you click into backlinks, it will pull up that separate report. And then up here, again, you can adjust your date ranges as needed. You can then toggle and look at the paid pages. So what are the pages that Shutterfly in this context is sending paid clicks to? Same thing, you'll see how much traffic is going there, how many paid keywords are associated with that individual URL, and if there are any backlinks pointing to that page. If the site has any subdomains, the subdomains will all get populated here. If the site has any paid media subdomains, so paid media landing pages, those will also be propagated here. You click on ads. This list will show you all of the ads that the site is running in the month that you've selected. This is the ad title, the URL, the copy, as well as the keywords associated with that ad. And you'll be able to kind of expand and view all of the core metrics that you really need when evaluating a competitor's paid search strategy. You can also look at the advertising history and look at how has performance changed over time for different keywords and uh, different landing pages that the site may have bid on in the past. Position changes, this is similar to the keyword report um, that we already looked at. This is just kind of showing us a log of, you know, organic and paid keyword changes over time, new keywords, lost keywords, improved keywords, decline keywords, uh, and again, you can set all the same filters to make this analysis more granular. Backlinks, this is going to show you a snapshot of the backlink profile of the site. So you have new and lost links over time. You have the historical acquisition of backlinks and referring domains. Again, these charts are dynamic. The types of links they have and the do follow versus no follow split. Down here, you have a list of all of the individual backlinks. You have the SEMrush site authority of the site providing the link, the page, the number of external links, the number of internal links, the target anchor text, and the landing page, as well as when that link was first seen and the most recent time we refetched that data set. 
up here, you can set filters by searching for page titles, searching for where did that, does that link appear? Is it in a content header, footer, or is it a site-wide link? You also see the type of platform. You'll see languages. You can search for specific URLs and you can play around with some of the other filters in here as well. Now at the top level, you can toggle. So from backlinks, you can switch to anchor text and you can look at the anchor text distribution of the site, how many backlinks do they have using that anchor text, how many unique referrings, referring domains are using that anchor text, when was that anchor text first seen, when was it last seen. This, this table is showing you the referring domain. So the previous table was showing us the individual backlinks. This is showing us the individual unique referring domains. Uh, as well as the, again the Samrush Authority Score, the domain, the type of business, the type of website it is. You know, is it a business website? Is it automotive? Is it in healthcare? Like, what type of site is it? How many backlinks does that site have? What is the country that the site is based in, as well as the IP that the site is hosted at? When was that link first seen? When was that link last checked? And again, you can set authorities. Uh, sorry, filters here at the top. You can also look at backlinks by IPs. This also helps if you're trying to come up with an international campaign or if you're trying to ensure that the links you have are coming from the country that you operate in. This can also help you identify that. And then here, you're just going to have a list of all of the indexed pages on the site, the number of backlinks pointed to them, number, number of unique referring domains, and if there are any internal or external links from that page. And the last section in here is gonna be the competitors. So this is showing us two reports, organic competitors and paid competitors. What we're trying to understand here with this visualization is who's the biggest bit, who's the biggest site in this industry. And this report, Shutterfly, eclipses the other competitors quite substantially from an organic search perspective. We see the competitors listed here, the share of common keywords, traffic and traffic cost. And we see the same thing here in the paid search industry. In paid search, Shutterfly is not the top site. Vistaprint is, Shutterfly is second, Zazzle is third, MPIC, Snapfish, and Mixbook are creeping up as well. And here again, we're going to see the paid competitors, common keywords, number of paid keywords, how much that traffic cost, things like that. So that is the site explorer feature in search Atlas. Again, you can also toggle this to look at a subdomain or an individual landing page instead of a domain wide analysis. You can look up sites in bulk. You'll have a history of all of the sites that you've looked up here. And if you're actively working on a site or if you, there's a site that you want to review again later, you simply hit save and add it as a save project so you can quickly reference it back in the future.